Good morning, folks. We've got one solar eruption to look at today, but it was a stealthy one. We're also going to check out evidence of a rare weather phenomenon and wrap up with a bit that forces us to re-examine the dating issues with past geomagnetic excursions. Let's start with our star, and we find the last 24 hours was mostly quiet, even more so if you aren't looking with a careful eye. No significant flaring events, no significant coronal holes, and geomagnetic activity here at Earth is calm as the solar wind is within normal range. But a closer look reveals a bit of a snap, a pop, and post-event umbral fields surging at the northern active region just past central longitudes. Those are signatures of what we see when plasma leaves the corona, and in this, it was the uppermost portion of the corona where the visible evidence was minimal down here in the usually more telling layers. The eruption did release a CME, and the SOHO coronagraph show a faint halo event coming from that region and is likely to give us a glancing blow. This is confirmed on both Enlil spiral models from NASA and NOAA, but alas, it's going to be a weak impact like the last one. No concern, but if you thought you had seen something there, you have a good eye for these things. A small one is on the way. Interesting event in my backyard late last week. Apparently a tornado hit Pikes Peak. This would be an extremely rare event, except it's the second one we've seen on mountaintops this summer in the United States. It's noteworthy that a powerful confined gust could also be responsible. Either way, very unusual sight in the downed tree evidence on the largest mountain in the area. Lastly, folks, we've mentioned before how the non-contextual paleo-intensity measurements around the world never seem to line up, giving ranges for past events like geomagnetic excursions. There are a few such cases in this one, which makes us remember that a confined look at one data set is always going to cause confusion as to the timing of these events. The fact that they use alternative names for the events to the ones known doesn't help either. They've located five excursions in this data set covering the last 70,000 years, which actually isn't bad for one stack, and of course, the next one is underway now. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn more about the previous excursions and the ongoing magnetic pole shift with our resources listed below the video in the description box. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.